In this video, we're going to talk about a very important concept in object-oriented programming called dependency injection. According to this concept, our classes should not instantiate or new up their dependencies. So here our report class is instantiating this calculator, and this is something we need to change. Because the dependency injection principle says this report class should not worry about creating the calculator object. It should only use it. Creating a calculator object and using it are two different concerns, and we need to separate them. This is what we call the separation of concerns. As an analogy, once again, think of a restaurant. Each person in a restaurant has a separate role. We don't want a chef to come and take orders. We want these concerns to be separated and everyone be focused on what they are responsible for. So we want to take the responsibility of creating this dependency from our report class and give it to another class. We'll have that class give our report class a calculator object. This is what we call dependency injection. So that other class will pass or inject a dependency. Now, we have various ways to inject these dependencies. We can use constructor injection. So we can pass a dependency via the constructor of a class. We can also pass a dependency via setter or a regular method. Over the next few videos, we're going to explore each of these approaches and their pros and cons.